What's up YouTube? This is the Wise Buy Guy. It's been forever since I made a video. Um, life's been crazy, work's been crazy. I have a lot of children and um, I need to sleep. So um, I'm gonna jump right into it. I have been rocking the um, Vertex Fanny Pack slash cross body um, whatever pack for uh, quite a while now. Really like it, I use it almost every day. Uh, going to work or going out with my children's and they just came out not too long ago This is their long walk MP waist pack. I just bought it on Amazon the other day uh, Wanted to go ahead and I hadn't seen any videos yet doing a comparison contrast between the two it Was really bothered me. So here you go uh, You can decide which of these two you like uh, now this particular um, fanny pack waist pack hip pack whatever you want to call it this one's been out for quite a while um, I have really liked it for a couple of reasons um, so I I played with a couple different ways of carrying it rotating it and I'm gonna be a hundred percent honest with you guys so I'm a father I got a lot of kids I have given up trying to be cool a lot of the videos I saw guys were like oh it's a fanny pack but you know they're gonna wear it kind of something like this and they're like oh it's a cross body pack and how cool is that or you could you know flip it around and you know you got like a little sling bag whatever um i think it's super cool carry it like this if that's your thing um but i'm gonna be super honest uh i modified how this bad boy is all looped i used a little elastic uh i'm an old man i just boom boom and we got a fanny pack and if you want to you know be a little bit more covert you can pull that out it, there's nothing in here right now so i mean now it just looks like i'm kind of weirdly fat tuck it in however you want to do it this is typically how i rock all of my stuff um, i'll show you what i normally keep in here for a comparison contrast i've made a couple modifications so one of the things that super was super annoying let me actually use this as a chest like this so i can kind of show you was this little piece in here um i don't know why on earth they put a cell phone deal on the very front being held by Vel velcro and it had um two straps that were initially go find somebody else's video on youtube it's not really the purpose of what i want to talk about here and oh there goes my hat uh, we're just gonna do this all in one take who cares it's late right um so they had like these two little straps and they had a piece for the cell phone i never once used that i honestly i wish that this is what this fanny pack looked like. This would be great, even better if there was like a little front zipper pocket. Right? Give me three zippers. Um, but oh no, no, we gotta deal with the cool, I'm out hiking, wanna use my GPS navigation, super secret spy stuff. Never like that. Um, again, I think this bag would be amazing. Three zippers, right? Uh, it's got the little coin pouch stuff in here. Uh, it's got that SOPC for the back. Um, so here's normally what I have um, in this bag. And again, everything has a spot. So uh, let's see if I can do this. So I'm just gonna talk through what I've got. So I've got my Glock 19, it's all nice and cleared. I I did not do the Vertex ones. I got a, this is a Max Pedition. I like how it slides in here, especially if you're running the light. So. I got something like that, boom. So that's just gonna go right here in the gun pocket. Uh, it came with some other odds and ends. Again, uh, you can go look up some other guys' videos, not really what I wanna focus on here. But only thing I keep in the gun part is the gun, right? And then I've got a couple of other things. I got a little thing, this is, uh, I think this is Palm. Yeah, this is a palm mace. I actually just tuck this right in that really useless part here on my right hand side. So if I'm ever needing to go grab something, boom, I can just pull that out. Um, and then on the middle pockets, one of the things that I do like with this front, it's got a very cool little mesh sleeve in here with some elastic. Let me see if I can get that a little bit better for you guys. Little, little elastic organizer. So um, I put the wallet, and again, I don't actually use those elastic organizers for the wallet. I also got a little, this is a little tech bag. Um, 
I will show this off. I found this on Amazon. This is a BUM BM B U B M. I don't know. It came with like a pair of headphones, but I'm able to keep a little flashlight, a little pocket knife, some chapstick, a little detractable pen, and like some band-aids and stuff for the kids. I'm able to keep everything all nice and organized. So if I ever want to keep this in my pocket, boom, I got all of that. It's not all jostling around. It's all right there. So I'm going to throw this in here. Um, Leatherman, that's the Wave. I do use the pocket and I just kind of clip it in. Then I got two medical items. I've kind of toned down what I use. Um, this is um, Nilox. So if you overdose, been happening a lot out where I live. And this is a little mini tourniquet. I put those in the front zipper. Um, I don't really zip it up. That just keeps things organized. And then I got AirPods, a pen. Love this pen. This is a Zebra FXMD. Love this guy for work. Clip that in a pocket. And then every once in a while, I will take my Warrior Poet. This is that Fox folder. I'll take that and I'll just drop it in there. And I'll try to find a spot to where you got to figure out how it all rolls. There we go. Bada bing, bada boom. So, I mean, it's a pretty stout bag. Let's, let's see if I can get that there on the camera, right? It is a little bulky. Here's how it looks in the fanny pack ah, configuration. Let me zip it up. Boom. Boom. So, side profile view, front profile view. But I got everything right here. And again, I've toned down on some of the stuff. Firearm, nice and easily accessible. Um, now there's two other things that I do not put either in the bag or that I'll clip onto the bag. I just got this uh, T-Kel knife. Uh, this is, ooh, the Nightshade, Night Stalker, something like that. First, really, really expensive fixed blade. Um, love this knife. You could go check him out, but I will clip this in the bag. So where I live, fixed knives have to be visible. So I can just clip it there and technically that is visible. And then I've got a nice easy draw from a fixed blade. Um, and again, not that notable, nice and easy. Uh, and then my last thing that I'll have on my person is my flashlight. And again, I'll just normally clip this in a pocket, but I could, you know, if I wanted to, I could find an awkward spot to clip it to. This doesn't normally go in the bag. I like keeping this normally back left pocket, one of those side pockets in here. Let me back up so you can see that. Nice and easy to grab. Boom. So this is how I rock the bag. And again, a little awkward, a little big, a little bulky, but I got a lot of stuff in there uh there's again a lot of other things about this bag again this uh this pack in here with that laser cut you could take a knife now this is not the right orientation but you could you know clip it through weave it in a lot of guys will do something kind of like this um with the sopc it's also got kind of secret compartment here in the back um i have packed this with some med stuff before it just adds too much to the bag. And again, what I am really looking for is something that I can throw all of my stuff in. And when I go out with my kids, go to the grocery store, I've got all the essentials and something that I can easily take off, put back on, and everybody's happy. Also at work, um, it is nice to just have everything I can grab and go. Not all of that comes with me to work because um, it would be against the law for me to take everything there. Wink, wink. So, their new fanny pack. Um, comes in a couple colors. I got the blue, because that's what I could get here immediately. Uh, so, let's go ahead. If you were to wear this as a crossbody, it is definitely a smaller bag. So, if I'm looking at it, I got my little tape measure here. 
So I'm going to say this is roughly about, I'm going to call that like six and three quarter by ooh, nine and three quarter, nine and a half versus this one at mm, six and a half, six and three quarter by, let's, let's do this at 11 ish that is not an exact measurement um i'll try to maybe put the stats down below so what really made me go ooh, i want to look at this bag is this one has a front zipper pocket and i was like oh that's what i wanted i want something with a front zipper pocket it's got a little key lanyard in here it's got the little velcro the hook and loop down on the back um you still have a back here's your secret compartment everything's cool in there uh it's got these little straps if you watch the uh review videos these are designed to like be mounted on a backpack where if you want like you know a, a chest rig you can do that I'm never gonna do that uh, i do like the fact that the zippers just got one on each side so that's nice and rather than having the little like the little overlap the little tuck change pocket thing i never really figured out what you're supposed to keep in there i mean i can't even this is like the smallest thing of pepper spray i have it doesn't really like that doesn't even work right i don't know what you're supposed to keep maybe i can keep my my overdose in there i mean could that work oh i can keep that in there well, I just may have found a new home for that. That's cool. Great. See, this is what the awesome thing talking with you guys. So I got that in there now. Um, AirPods could definitely fit in there. But then you got to get them out. And I use my AirPods all the time. So that would just be annoying. So what I liked about this is they got a little strip of molly. So what I was thinking was, oh, I could maybe clip this in there. Ha -ha. And as I'm wearing that it's clipped yay and the it's got a little grab handle like all their stuff does most of their stuff does this technically has a little grab handle if you're going to look under the velcro i guess you could call that a grab handle but when this is velcroed and again if vertex ever watches these videos if you guys were to build something like this could this just be a zipper just for me, please? I would love that for it to be a little zipper. Anyways, I don't think they'll ever actually watch this. But let's see what I can fit and how well this one looks when I put all of that same stuff. You saw what fit. You saw how big it was. Uh, let's kind of see how it looks. Now, one thing I dislike here right off the bat, this buckle's weird. Um, so here's the buckle. And it just... Like when I look at that buckle and I look at this buckle, this does not feel like the same quality of material. A little smaller, a little thinner, a um, little less rigid. I don't know how long this is going to last long term, um, but they just came out with this. We'll have to let everybody know. Don't need that. So they stole the pockets from the front of this bag. So if you guys recall, let's flip it around here. So this one has these two little pockets, one here and one here. Okay. So I got two pockets on the front part, gun part behind in case you're all dizzy. So that pocket layout, they took that pocket layout and they put that in the CCW compartment. Now, I don't know why they chose to do that. Um, if I, I don't think this one, yeah, this one doesn't have anything here. It did come, take it back. It did come with a little attachment that you could put in there with some different organizers that's lost somewhere in one of my boxes. So if I was to be carrying this as a CCW, I am never going to put something else in these pockets. Maybe, um, a mag possibly. Hmm. <clears throat> But there's no, there's no um, Velcro. It's just an open pocket, which means if you put the mag in, it's going to come falling out. 
Now the gun does fit. Boom. It fits quite nicely. I like that. I like that a lot. Oop, went a little too tight. I am not that skinny yet. Okay, so we got all that in. So just the gun, if you're actually gonna do a fanny pack, like a fanny pack. Now, one of the things I noticed with how this front pocket is built out, I don't know if you guys can see that lip that it has here. That's a massive, massive lip. So if you're going to have it, it doesn't really have like a, a way to tuck itself in for a, a lower profile, um, but kind of whatever. I don't know what this little strap is for. You're not gonna hang anything off the front of that because that's going to be really uncomfortable. Uh, so let's do, do some basics of what y'all might carry. So we got a wallet. Wallet fits nicely in there, barely comes up. But again, because this has that ridge, right? Where it, it is a little poofier in here. I kind of turn to the side. That works quite nicely. So for a wallet, a firearm, that's going to be great. But if you try to use these for an actual bag, we've got wallet number two. And woo, I am already starting to get a little tight on room. That, both of those, that's about the width of this front pocket. This front pocket, by the way, if I go from like here to here, let's call that ooh, seven and a half inches. So if I do those and I do the pocket knife and I do the Leatherman, and the mini tourniquet. I believe this is, um, oh, I forget who makes this one. I'll put a description down below of all the goodies. That does not work well because of the Velcro. Let's just shove it in there for giggles. And can the headphones fit? Ooh. Okay, so yeah, I'm gonna let you all know right now, this is not, okay, hey. <laughs> Sure. Does most of it fit? I And can you get stuff out? No, you can't. So if you're looking for maybe a fanny pack that holds... Ooh, so let's say you want... I think we can all agree. A wallet. Yeah, everybody wants a wallet. Maybe a little organizer bag for some backup stuff. And a pocket knife. And AirPods. Cool. I can fit that fairly comfortable. Uh, and then if you do have a little something, something like you would want to clip on into the Molly, you could do that. I wonder if it would be more comfortable. Ooh. If I flipped the orientation of this blade, that would probably help. So I could do something like that, actually. Yeah. Now, if you have stuff in the bag, this is where I, I feel like some of the design breakdown. Um, it's got that back pocket Ugh. with those two cool zippers, right? You're not going to be able to get anything back in there or to be able to get it. If that's clipped on, you got to like... Whew, yeah, that's not gonna, that's not gonna be a used pocket. So again, it's a little smaller, comes in the three colors. I got the blue, like I said, because I could get it here uh, in one day. I'm okay with how the firearm part works. And that's a Glock 19. I've still got a little bit of room. I don't know how big you could go with a firearm. I don't have my Glock 17 around anywhere. Nope. So again if they took here's what i think would be great if they took the front zipper pocket design here and they took the cell phone pouch off here and they combined those i think we'd have a winner um 
Again, nothing wrong with this one, still like this. This one is definitely though a little bit smaller. Um, the grab handle, I do feel like this grab handle is a little hard to actually grab because of how this poofs out, right? To actually get in here for the grab handle, you end up kind of hitting some of your stuff, but it does have that. I don't know why you'd necessarily need a built-in grab handle on a fanny pack when you've got straps, strings. Um, one of the things that I really like with this bag is how this is built in. It does have a little bit of mobility for different body styles. And this is a great place to hang the bag when you're not using it. So it can just chill on a little command hook. So this one, when you put it on, you know, it has a little forward dip just because of, right, the size and the length. But I feel like it conforms to the body fairly well. Let's get that all zipped up. By the way, these are not the uh, original zipper pulls. I, I added these so I could actually grab something to yank. Um, but because it's a little bit longer, it's the same thickness, if I recall from my measurements. It's about the same thickness, but you can see it's just a little bit... Just a little bit smaller. Boom, by, mm, I got the tape measure. I can just measure this. Two and a half to three inches. So if you're looking for something a little smaller, a little bit more petite, um, ladies, smaller guys, this could, this could maybe be something you look at. Again, I'm 6'2", about 200 pounds right now. This one is definitely notable on the front. Is still notable when you're swinging it around here. The reason I don't really carry it uh, crossbody, I do not love the idea of having a loaded firearm in here pointed that way. Yeah, don't don't care for that. So hopefully. This is a helpful video. I, again, I think I think the bright color might be fun. A uh, place like Disneyland. Uh, again, you're not going to be carrying a CCW there. But for a smaller waist pack, if you're too cool to wear a fanny pack, you can go ahead, like I said, get your, get your deal. Now you have a chest pack. Um, I guess for all you cool unmarried kids who are still trying to impress folks, you can do that. You could throw it up on the back, have something small, easy access. Um, so again, depends on what you want to use this for, but I do think they came out with a nice little bag here. Uh, I would just love for that one to have had this pocket or this one to be a little bigger, maybe. I don't know if I could marry the two and have, make them have a baby. That is probably what I'd want. So hopefully this video helps any of you guys decide if that is the fanny pack solution for all your needs. I like it. Still doesn't have everything I want. I have not yet found the fanny pack, the one fanny pack to rule them all. So if you know of a better fanny pack that does not scream tactical, <coughs> I know, I know that's what a fanny pack screams. But if you got a cooler fanny pack, drop it down in the comments. I would love to see what you are all toting. Have a great night.